After a day of reflection, it's the day of action at France's polling stations. It's a race which has gathered momentum over the past few weeks. In round two of the country's presidential election, the choice rests between a change of guard or more of the same. The final choice between President Sarkozy and his challenger, François Hollande. For some, it has been difficult to decide which of the men to vote for. Unfortunately, I think it was... Uh None of the candidates were aspirational for me, and, and that's what I was looking for, somebody who could have a positive vision on the future of France, which was not really in the debates. But for others, it's an easy choice to make. Who am I voting for? It's simple, for François Hollande, because I think he's the best person to get us out of this crisis. We've had a right-wing government for 10 years, but now it's enough. Well, earlier this week, estimates have put the socialist candidate Hollande ahead of the incumbent president Nicolas Sarkozy. Of course, that is determined by Sunday's turnout, something that neither candidate is taking for granted. Both have been campaigning fiercely until the very end, against a backdrop of deep unhappiness over the economy. Hollande has made much of his proposed economic plan focused on raising taxes on wealthier citizens and keeping the public deficit capped. Billed earlier as the campaign's Mr. Normal, his reputation is starkly different to Sarkozy's so-called showy style. While he stands by his economic credentials, another important factor will be seeing if Sarkozy's last-ditch attempt to reach out to the far right has had any impact. After National Front leader Marine Le Pen denied support to Sarkozy's campaign, it may not be as straightforward. Whether it's a tactic that's worked should be clear from the voters' choice in a country that's not had a socialist president in 17 years. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera, Paris.